Well, we did what we had to do. I thought, um, I thought uh, in the first half, our, our energy defensively, uh, going into the game, we knew we had to make that team uncomfortable. As you saw in the second half, when our energy and defense wasn't so good, they, they make shots. They're a dangerous team. And so I thought in the first half, we did what we had to do. We made them uncomfortable. Even the shots that were open, they normally make, I think they were just a little bit out of the rhythm, out of sync. I thought our defense did that to them. A little bit of pressure, some, some traps here and there. And I thought that made the difference. And then, uh, you know, clearly these two guys here were, uh, were just terrific. I mean, getting a double-double, Mace making big shots. I mean, that shot in the, in the second half it was when we really needed a bucket. That jump shot there was a, just a tough, tough shot. And that's, you know, these are the two toughest guys we got right here. So uh, in the end, when we needed to be tough, we were tough. And, uh, you know, it's a good win. Could you two talk about turning up the defense in the first half and what you guys did to change the flow of the game? Uh, it comes with practice. We've been focused on defense since, I don't know, uh, probably like the second game. We really since, had... since we realized we were 343rd in the country. Yeah, points, mm -hmm. points he kept, he kept repeating that to us, so, you know, we took <laughs> we, it personal. We were. We were, we were like 342 or 340. We were giving up 84 points a game. We took it personal this game. They wanted to show that we can't play defense. Yeah, that was our main goal, like to get them, run them off the line because they were like a great three-point shooting team. So our goal was like to, to make them run and rebound. We rebounded and ran. We was going to come out with this result. Joe, okay. uh, congratulations, first of all, the milestone. Yeah, thanks. And uh, anything you want to talk first, what, it mean, you know, what does it mean? Well, you know, it means you got good players. You know, I mean, that's for sure. Um, uh, but, you know, I say it all the time, I'm, I'm living the dream. I mean, I'm just lucky to be here and lucky to coach guys like these two and the rest of the guys on the team. And, and uh, you know, it's uh, I'm I'm lucky. I'm a lucky guy. I know it too. So, you know, I appreciate it. I, I also know that uh, what was his 15th year. I can think of two a year that we should have won. So it should be like 280 right now. But uh, you know, <laughs> I guess that's everybody. Everybody, every coach thinks that way. What does it mean to you guys to be part of Coach Milestone? Well, uh, we knew about it. We kept talking about it before the game. Yeah. We we had to get it for him. It's a great coach. Yeah, he he reminded the whole team. He put it on the board, which is like flagged it all because we didn't even start the game yet. So our man, our whole who put on the board, Mace? Yeah, that was yeah. before the game. We had but a race winning, yeah. in a huddle, everything, every the yeah. whole thing was, was two fifty. That was our goal. We get that two fifty for him. Can you get back? You know, you alluded to the defense. Obviously, I thought um, it was like midway through the first half. It was like a eleven ten game. I think. I mean, I just made a three point play, and you had that half court trap that forced a turnover. And it, and it seemed that the tempo of the game just changed immediately after that. Exactly. Right, right on the money. Because it was awful ugly early. I mean, both teams couldn't make shots, and it was just terrible basketball. But exactly. We had the three-point play, then we got a couple of steals, we made a couple of shots, and we just had that little burst that, that, that proved to be the difference. And that was exactly right. I mean, it was, it was, uh, it was awful ugly early. But, uh, you know, thank God we got together for a little stretch. Uh, you guys were ranked. You know, pretty high in the country and not turning the ball over for much of the season. It's kind of gone in the other that direction changed. the last couple of games. What do you think has happened? Uh, and, and, and they're bad turnovers, too. I think they're, I think they're, they're careless. I think they're certainly uh, unforced, you know, is the most uh, professional way to say it. You know, they're just, they're unacceptable. I mean, we got to, every single guy, and it's not just one guy. I mean, all of us got to, like, take a, deep, take a look and say, wait, we can't. We're not good enough to do that. I mean, we can't turn the ball over like that. That ball's, it's hard enough to score. And, uh, and we're just committing some turnovers that we shouldn't commit, that we really shouldn't commit. So, you know, that, that's, I talked to the team about how, how we're, we're getting better, but we're nowhere near where we have to be. And if we, uh, and one of the areas we've got to get, get better is turning the basketball over, not turning it over. I thought Malcolm gave you a pretty good energy last time. Did a great job. I was glad to see him. He had a little bit, a little bit of swag back. You know, he was, you know I, don't, I don't know how many people know this, but he missed about three weeks of the preseason. And uh, it made a difference for him. You know, I mean, he, I remember looking at the practice schedules, and practice number two was when he got hurt. And I remember look, calling the trainer, it was practice number 18, and he still wasn't practicing. I was thinking, wow, that's gotten to be a long time. So I think that's, that screwed him up a little bit, and, and he's getting it back, you know. So uh, he made a couple big jumpers, had a couple threes, uh, put some points on the board. So, yeah. You know, we, we can do it. I mean, it was, this was a night when Wanye wasn't, didn't have much going for him, and, and these other guys picked him up. You know, Marvin came in and made a couple shots. Malcolm made some shots. Devin's starting to finish around the basket a little bit better. So, uh, you know, we're excited. I was going to say, are you guys looking forward to where you can take this? Because you are finally getting all yeah. the pieces. Yeah, I know we actually have everybody on the court in practice and everything. So it's fun. It's going to be a fun year. 
and we had a, a good practice week this week. Everybody was into it. Everybody had energy this week, so I knew we were going to play good. So. What do you guys think you can be when you know Devin gets in shape and everybody's healthy? If, if you know, sky's the limit. I really mean it. We can we can be really good. Yeah. You're starting to have a little depth now, and you know, get a big guy that can uh, make a little difference in there. So. Yeah. Okay. Can you talk about uh, signing Star Tyler? <coughs> I think you started Malcolm on Saturday, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Here's what we here's the thinking. The thinking is that he's our best perimeter defender. You know, he gives us energy. And we wanted to put some pressure on them from the perimeter defense with their ball handling. So the thinking was he's our best perimeter defender uh, as far as that kind of stuff goes. Now, Mace is our lockdown guy. I mean, Mace guards the other guy's best player. But Taj can get into a ball handler and turn him and give him some pressure and get deflections. And when he does that, that's contagious. So he brings that defensive energy. It allows Mason and Wanya to play off the ball. They're our, be they're our best two and three. You want to put numbers on these guys? That's, they're our best guys there. Uh, so those, that's the thinking right there. You know, and then you bring the firepower off the bench. You know, Mar Marvin and Malcolm were hurt anyway. They haven't been practicing. So you bring those guys off the bench to score some points and you know, all that stuff. So it's, you know, we, we'll, we'll, you know, we're a work in progress. We'll see. I mean, I, I don't know who will start Sunday, but that's what we tried today.